is some, a stubborn, angry, frustrated kid, but a kid who had tremendous potential, who had some personal issues going on at the time. And she said, I'm just proud of the man you become. I want to show you all something. About a year and a half ago, I had a chance to go to her home, and I got a chance to meet her and sit there and spend some time with her. Y'all got to show me some last major right there. But you know what, Ms. Palmer is you. She, whatever position you're in, school administrator, school counselor, social worker, superintendent, doesn't matter. We're all in our own right, Ms. Palmer. So after I stand to your feet real quick, I'm the coach. We got to do a little coaching exercise. Stand up with us. All right, thank you. I want you to find 10 people today in this room. I want you to give them a double high five, and I want to tell them you are a generational transformation expert. Go ahead, go tell them that right now. That's what you are. Thoughts about her experience, all right? Uh, one, she understood the academic and school culture impact of using social emotional connections. She understood that it was much bigger than just the learning process, which we want. We want academics, we want academic rigor, you know, all these different things. But she realized in order to get to the point where I even embraced the concept of academic rigor, she had to make the connection with me. Because well, this is what happens. When a young person makes the connection with you on a personal level, these are things we all know, I'm just affirming it with you. When they make the connection with you, then they want to do well for you. They don't want to disappoint you. That's the beauty of socio-emotional learning. It's now about this young person wants to make the connection. Now here I am, there's a, just a paradigm right here. And it's called care. And with care, I just want to point out, you know, it's like compassion, kind of a little bit of an acronym, all right? Compassion always relieves emotion. Compassion always, so what I mean by that is when a child comes to me with a disposition or a, a, a relational thing going on or acting in a certain mode, what I've learned over the years is that compassion typically, if it's done right, calms it down. All right? It, 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 it eases the tension. All right? It eases the tension. So this is just another, again, another a, a point of connection. All right, we need to care. Okay, so let's do something because I'm an engaging kind of a speaker. Look at somebody next to you and just give them a big smile and say, "You know, I really care about you." Come on, come on, let's have somebody there. You know, I really care about you. Yeah. I really do care about you. Yeah. Yeah. Can I say something that's important to the social emotional learning? Can I say something that was that I did? This is something we got to think about. We need to care about the kids, but we need to care about each other too. We got a hand clap for that. We need to care about each other. A lot of times, the health of a school is the relationships with the team. All right, I'm gonna give you a couple high fives. Give somebody a high five and say it takes teamwork to make the dream work, baby. Come on, you know how high Conversation. Can I get one person to give me a hand clap for that? Just, just all the looking for is one because it, those pessimistic conversations lead to a culture in which I don't even want to teach today. I'm so full of pessimism. I know when you talk about that's why I need you. I need you as your teammate to help bring the best out of me. Don't encourage. If I'm having a rough day, encourage me. Don't go along with me. Don't. Don't. This is social emotional stuff. Don't go and go there with me. Help bring me, reel me back in. And say, you know what, you're doing a great job. Those kids are great, they're great to have you. They're blessed to have you. Why, because if we keep going deep into those negative, pessimistic things, then it makes it very difficult to do this. It makes it very difficult. So we talk about social, emotional, learning, we have to shift the way we do things. I'm saying this because I work with schools. I'm in there. I see the battles. I see the struggles. I see the challenges. I see the frustration. I see the anger. I see some people that don't want to ever change. And I realize that you got to change. You got to embrace some of these things if we're going to ever move to what we want to move to. And listen, that's an individual cho uh, choice. I can't. I, I can coach you to it, but you got to want to embrace it yourself. Thank you.